Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got more sports for you today. Clearly, you you chose this video to watch, so I assume you know what you're watching in Tyson Fury. Sam doesn't have any experience with Tyson Fury, though. I do not. Zippo. But we do know that he has got a big fight coming up with Francis Ngannou coming up. You do know who Francis Ngannou is. I do, yes. Because she's walked and watched a lot of UFC with me that yeah. I forced her to watch <laughs> many times. And, Educated uh, me a little bit. Sometimes she falls asleep before the evening is over. But, I'm a little um, bit of a grandma. Yeah, but um, well, so, you know, sometimes the fights can go on a little, little bit late. So um, we're, not, we're not youthful and uh and running wild I need my beauty sleep guys we're not running wild in our young age anymore <laughs> so um anyways we know who you know who uh francis and ganu is you don't have much familiarity with tyson fury no i've heard the name and i like know that he's a boxer and i think i've heard you say that he's undefeated and that's all that yes, i know <laughs> those are the three facts yeah you could make an argument for him being one of the greatest uh, heavyweights of all time, putting him up there with the likes of Mike Tyson and the Muhammad Ali's and all that kind of okay. stuff. So, um, I mean, if you know, you never lose and you're beating everybody that comes your way, you know, and he's also has a hard to argue otherwise. Yeah. He also has a pretty interesting story. I'm not entirely familiar with all of it in that he had some issues with depression, um, alcoholism, that kind of stuff, got himself all cleaned up and came back and continued on as his reign after m retiring and coming back. So okay. um, he's also got a pretty epic name. He in, does. That's his real name. That's his real name. Tyson. Oh, I was wondering Fury. that. I thought maybe he, that was just like his like performance name. What, uh, what are the chances that you name your kid Tyson Fury yeah. and he comes becomes the heavyweight champion of the world? <laughs> and it was he, just a prophecy. And he was named after Mike Tyson. Oh, really? So, yeah, he was named uh, Tyson. I guess his dad was a Mike Tyson. I think this is correct. Sometimes it's folklore and it's bull yeah, and, yeah. You know, whatever. Um, but anyways, I think he was named after that, after him, Mike Tyson. And then his name is now Tyson Fury, and he's the boxing heavyweight champion of the world. That's, That's wild funny. to me. Like, what are the chances? The probabilities of that is like 0.1%. Yeah, it was prophesized from the beginning. Sometimes it makes you think about the universe. I'm just saying. Uh, but we won't get, <laughs> get into that on this video. Let's get into some beautiful boxing. You ready to check it out? I am. Let's do it. dope that was something that uh ali used to make really popular he'd be on the ropes and getting guys to miss 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 and then he'd kind of come, come around turn around on you and start you know walloping you <laughs> um but it's really crazy right to see his size you know i don't can't remember how tall he is six foot seven six foot eight yeah he's two. tall i was gonna say that he looks very different to me than a bo most yeah boxers. His, his his um physique is not what you'd expect right yeah and um he's also 200 and i think 70 or 80 pounds it's a huge crap. guy, right? But you see the way he's moving. Mm -hmm. Like how many 270 pound and, you know, six foot seven, six foot eight guys can move like he can with his feet and his head movement and all that yeah, he's athleticism. Coordinated. And that's why he's so hard to beat because, you know, how many guys are that tall and can move like him? Yeah, 100%. Right? So, um, yeah, because I mean, like, obviously he's very tall, but you wouldn't really guess that he's that heavy because it's not like he's like a hefty guy. Yeah, yeah. He's also like you, you were saying, though, he's not, you know, built 
with a lot of muscle. He's got yeah. some body fat on him. I think some of it actually might be some loose skin, to be honest. Okay. I, I think, you know, when you look at him and watch him move, I'm not sure how much is actually going to be body fat. Because the guy's, he's, you know, able to go 12 rounds. Yeah, I was about of, to say that. It's like a lot of endurance. You know, three minutes, 12 rounds, 36 minutes. So you're going to be burning a fair mm-hmm. amount of cardio, plus all the, you know, training he does. Anyways, let's keep it going. So those two, they just had the draw. They've had a trilogy. So they just finished their trilogy. And um, in that fight, I don't think we're going to get the background on it. But in that fight, um, Fury was dropped to drop down first. That guy knocked. I don't know if it was. I think it was twice. He he was dropped. Um, so they knocked him down. And so they counted, right? He stood back up again, kept fighting. And then he ended up coming back to knock that guy out. Oh my and gosh. this was the third fight between the two of them. And uh, like, so a huge rivalry, obviously. He got knock, knocked down twice and he still come back to and knock the guy other guy out. out That's which wild. Is pretty wild. think if I remember correctly, you guys can make sure this is correct in this comments, is the first fight we saw was a draw. Second fight, uh, Fury like destroyed him. And that's what we just saw in that video there. And then the third fight was the one that I was just talking about. So he won again in that one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So that, but they were thinking like, why is there a point for the rematch? Because, you know, Deontay Wilder, who's the black guy that we saw, you know, he got destroyed by Fury, Fury in the second fight. Why are they going to do another yeah. one? And then they did. And then, like I said, Wilder ended up knocking him down twice. Wow. Right. And so clearly it was a valid rematch. Yeah. yeah. It should have happened. But, you know, they're. So he's never lost, but he's tied before. Yes.
Oh my goodness. See that footwork there? He's like, pew, pew, pew. He, he, you know, popped, popped, and then he switched his stance and dropped back. Like, that's crazy for a dude that's 6'7 and to do that. Also, this guy in the red shorts here is Vladimir Klitschko. He was like a very long reigning heavyweight champion, one of, deemed one of the best, and he just went in there and made him look silly. <laughs> Like it was towards the end of his career. Yeah, he's a older. Guy, but yeah. he just went. Like, you see him like dancing around this guy, and he's like a really technically gifted boxer. Wow. Oh, big right hand by Fury. That's wild. he's an animal yeah and um apparently he's a i haven't heard a ton of it but apparently he's a pretty good trash talker as well so maybe we should watch a highlight trash <laughs> well, talking his video freaking king get up there that he was wearing that reminds me, king, yeah. reminds me of something out of like lord of the rings or game of thrones well, or something and deontay has has a get up too so when they both came out it was quite the extravagant show also. <laughs> oh my god uh, but yeah, maybe we'll check out some of the theatrics at another point in another video but if you guys like this one make sure you hit the like button for us and leave us a comment so you think he was a beast yeah yeah for sure i didn't really know what to expect but it's also so different watching just boxing versus watching um ufc, UFC. yeah mma yeah yeah just have to worry about it's the literally punches. just like but that's why you know so much faster you know what i mean like yeah well that's why uh, you know i love francis uh but he's coming in to fight you know a boxer like him It'll where you only have to worry about the punches that's it and the foot movement and that's it right yeah. so when you're in mma you have to worry about a takedown or the wrestling or yeah. you know, submissions or whatever right i feel like you have to worry about that but it also sometimes gets slowed down a little right. bit because you're exactly. just kind of dancing around and waiting for that opposed to just having someone come full force at you exactly all you're going to do is worry about hitting the other guy and not exactly. getting hit right and yeah. there's specific rules and all that stuff so you know he's going into tyson fury's territory territory so it's going to be you know hard press um, i hope it's a good fight um you know like i said we were a little more familiar with francis yeah. and connor so it'd be cool to check him out but we'll be watching nonetheless yes uh, even if she's falling asleep we'll be watching and uh, hopefully you guys are watching too hopefully you come through and check out our next videos yeah. and watch us as well by hitting that subscribe button and we'll see you on our next video thanks for watching guys see you next time